Okay, I'm going to do the picture slideshow first. Click on here, view, slideshow, you know the drill. Okay, so how do you fix uh, over brightness? Well, two ways. One is exposure compensation, and the other one is f-stop. So the ISO only goes from 400 to 800, but here in camera, I put it in, um, and you'll see the focusing much better. I put it at uh, minus three, and it turned out pretty good. I should have done the f-stop instead to f8 or f10 or something like that. I didn't think of it until I started doing the video, which will come on after this. And I'm closing the door because my cat wants to eat all the time. And he's not going to, I'm not going to give in. He just ate about an hour ago. And then he gets mad and then he starts picking on Wanda. Wanda doesn't mind because she'll get some more food too. So I have to close the door. But you see, it looks much better than it, you know, was earlier. And when, when you deal with uh, multiple camera systems, you, it's frustrating. Okay. It's my bad. But this is an all HLG mode. And I can do the same settings in Z6 III, but it was too dark. Then I realized I had an F4 to F8 lens trying it out. So depending on the lens, the aperture, the f-stop, the um, anything else I could think of. You know, yeah, okay. I thought something was on the lens. Now you see how dark this is? So I already did the F8, but I didn't do the uh, bring back the exposure compensation to a zero. So you see, video is different from uh, photo settings, all right? I still had it on minus three, and the video will be totally different from the camera settings. So before it was just minus three exposure, then I put it at F8, and then I had it in camera mode, and you can see how dark it is. But if I add video mode, which you'll see, it's much brighter. That's the problem I'm having with these uh, different camera settings, okay? I would love to have the same settings on both instead of separate. I know people want it separate. Me, I want it the same. Um, you know, if I change it to focus and stuff like that, well, you got memory. Well, there's no memory banks on the ZF, okay? But when you do go from HLT to, let's say, aperture or priority or whatever, it saves the settings in each mode. And that's what... Uh, people haven't talked. So it looks like it's nighttime. All right. That's the only thing I'm going to say about this. So what I'm going to do is go back outside, take some more pictures, and reduce it to F2. Okay. And then if it's too bright, or not too bright, See, that, that looks good right there, okay, at the sunset. It looks gorgeous, and it's too dark there. Okay. Okay. So, I did some raw files and JPEGs. I redid the settings and uh, 
It's just to show you the difference between SDR. I'm trying to find my mouse. Okay, found it. So let's go and take a look at some pictures. See if I can get it on the right one. There we go. So these are close-ups. I think I need to put it back at, yeah. All right, let's go back. My bad, all right. Now, let's take a look. Okay, so these are JPEGs. I went back to SDR just to show you the difference. And then you're going to see some RAW files. Now, some were out of focus, like that one. So now you can start seeing the RAW files. And it should, yeah. I've noticed that it takes a little bit longer to focus when it's in RAW. And I got it in HLG. Now, isn't that a beautiful sunset? Look at that. So when you uh, put back to zero uh, exposure compensation and just do the f-stop, pictures are much better. Okay, I did it in raw files. And the pictures look sharp in HLG. And you can see how it's dark. Now, if I, if I had my focus toward uh, the little, uh, this part right here, you wouldn't see this at all. That, that's the, uh, the problem I was having with the, uh, the ZF, okay? I don't know if it's just for that camera or whatever, but I noticed on certain cameras also, when you do something like that, the exposure changes. So that's why you have an exposure lock. Turn it on. But I couldn't see the clouds. And you can see in HLG mode, it's much darker. Okay, what's going on here? I don't want to put a note to that. See, it's processing. So you see, just by moving it down, do you see a cloud? And I went back to SDR, just one picture, then I went back to HLG. That's the difference. Uh, with HLG on RAW, I can bring up the exposure, which I'll show you in a moment. I think that's it, okay? So let's do a command I. I think that's what it is. And again, it might have gone to the beginning. Oh, crud. Okay. Yeah, let's let's just do it this way. And I'll go to where is it? It's down here. No. No. <laughs> okay. Plus, minus. I was trying to brighten it up and it changed the program. All right. Well, folks, you, 
That's why I don't like this program. Um, change settings, you can't. She just turns it. Now, uh, let me try this. It's over here. That's what I was messing up. Okay, let's go. All right. Contrast. Highlights. See any changes, folks? Yeah, I give up. <laughs> I'm just going to get out of it. Come on. Not let me. All right. I'll just have to go with the other way. Quit. So that's it. You're not going to see any more HLG from me, folks. If you want to see it, buy the camera. <laughs> any camera. I'm not going to deal with it. So, uh, let me go over here. Thank you for watching. I got the light turned off. There you go. So thank you for watching. Remember, stay safe. Keep smiling. I hope this was helpful. Uh, a lot of frustrations. Um, you have to remember certain settings on the camera and stuff. And I was having difficulty. Okay? So uh, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Keep smiling. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day.